Hi everybody, my name is Leah Jarrett and I'm a product demonstrations manager at Looker. Today I'm going to be talking about how our customers here at Google Cloud have been using data powered by BigQuery and Looker to make data-driven responses to COVID-19. I'm going to start by talking about the impetus for creating this data block that I'll go into in a bit. Um, I'm going to talk about how our customers were coming to us and needed to analyze all this public, publicly available data for COVID-19. And then I'm going to jump into a very quick overview of Looker and BigQuery just to give you context on the different tools we're using. Next, I'm going to walk through the actual marketplace block that Looker team has launched with the BigQuery public datasets team. And last, I'm going to talk through a couple of our customer stories and how they've actually used the marketplace block that we've created to make data-driven responses. So like I said, we began getting a lot of requests for our, from our customers asking how they can use our tools here at Google Cloud to actually analyze all the data that was becoming available from COVID-19. As a product demonstrations manager at Looker, I'm responsible for creating different demonstrations of how we can use Looker to analyze various data sets. So many people on our team were reaching out to me asking, how do we create a demo to show how we can actually use Looker and BigQuery to analyze all of this data? We were getting requests from all different industries. We had government offices contacting us who needed data to understand how they can create different policies and state mitigations to better limit the spread of the disease. We had different healthcare institutions that were coming to our sales teams and our engineers asking how they could use data to prepare for an influx of cases across the world. And of course, we had all of our other businesses, e-commerce companies, real estate companies, all asking us, um, you know, how can we really make use of all the data that's become available and join it back with our own data so we can make insightful decisions and better prepare our business for what's happening in the world. At the start of COVID-19, different institutions started releasing data. You could hop on Google and see tons of different data sources, different companies, various bio biomedical institutions and universities were all coming out with publicly available data sets showing both testing rates and infection rates across the world. It was really overwhelming amount of data. So our customers were continuously coming to us trying to figure out what data sources to use, how to use these data sources, and to make matters more confusing, each data source had its own definitions with its own schema. So it was really difficult to understand where do we start, what data sources do we use, and then what do we actually do with those data sources. So just want to make a quick note about the BigQuery Public Datasets program. The BigQuery Public Datasets program took a large amount of these different data sources created definitions so you clearly understood what those data sources, where they came from, what the metrics meant. And of course, they take care of all that ETL, the um, getting the data into the actual database for you each day so that all of our BigQuery customers can simply query this data and have it available without needing to figure out what data sources they should use and how they could get it into their own databases. The problem with using this data set is, you know, our analysts at all of our customers still needed to figure out what to do with this data. And they also had to create the queries directly in BigQuery to get answers to their own questions. So of course, BigQuery is a database that Google Cloud powers, but you really need to understand SQL in order to be able to ask questions of this data. A lot of our customers have analysts who are familiar with using SQL, but that means we're limiting who actually can ask questions of the data. We really need that technical resource to be the person who's going in and asking the questions for us. This is where Looker comes in. And just to give everyone a bit of background on Looker, if you don't already know, Looker is a data platform, and it's going to sit directly on top of your SQL database. 
So in this case, we're talking about sitting directly on top of our public data sets available in BigQuery. Now, Looker is powered by a Git version controlled modeling layer that we call LookML. What LookML allows us to do is actually create a data dictionary of all of our different metrics. We use raw SQL to define those calculations and then business users, folks who are not familiar with writing SQL queries can jump in into the Looker platform, slice and dice data, create new reports, export the data, schedule it. Basically, they're empowered to go in and ask new questions of this data without needing to rely on a technical resource. This was also really important for us because like I mentioned before, the data that was published with COVID-19 was not exactly straightforward. We had different companies that were defining metrics in different ways. We had data that was getting updated at different frequencies. And putting this all together, we had a whole team of analysts here at Looker trying to work on creating that LookML modeling layer to look at the metrics related to COVID-19. So to give you a little bit of background, we had um, you know, maybe 10 or 15 of our sales engineers jumping in, reading up on the data, learning the data sources, understanding the calculations that were coming out on places like New York Times or for Johns Hopkins. And we were creating our own LookML model to look at those calculations. Things like number of new cases that were emerging each day, daily growth rates, average growth rates across different regions. And we had a, a pretty robust process for going through our calculations, testing things, making things that, making sure everything was working appropriately. Now, of course, we, we did all this to basically create these product demonstrations to show our customers, hey, this is how you can actually analyze this data. But after going through this effort, we realized we should make this model that we've created available to all of our customers so that they don't have to go through this same process that we just went through. This is where Looker's Marketplace comes into play. Looker's Marketplace is an in-app marketplace. So on your Looker instance, you can go up, go directly into the marketplace and install what we call blocks. These blocks are really just pre-built pieces of LookML, so that SQL-based modeling layer that can help you you know, be making data decisions, data-driven decisions faster. What I mean by this is we don't want our customers spending all their time trying to understand what the different data sets mean, where they're coming from, how often things are updated when they're calculated. We want our customers to be actually using the data to make those data-driven decisions for their business because that's what they're best at doing. So our team, after creating this LookML model, we decided to publish it into the Looker Marketplace. What this means for our customers is anyone could go into the Marketplace, click a button, download the um, Marketplace block into their local instance, and have our model that we've created available for them to use so that they're really accelerating their time to value when it came to these public data sets. So when our customers go and install this block into their Looker instance, they're gonna get a few things. First off, they're gonna get two dashboards that are international dashboards. One on the left-hand side is where you can see an international view of what's happening across the world. This data is primarily um, you know, powered by Johns Hopkins and the New York Times and some other data sources that show things like testing or, or um, government decisions. On the right hand side, we can see a dashboard that's focused on Italy. Now this is because the Italian government published a few different data sets that talk in depth about the case spread across Italy. Next, we have two other dashboards that focus on the United States. First, we have a view of the entire United States where we can see things like hospital bed utilization and infection rates across the country. From here, we can drill down into a brand new dashboard which focuses on a single state and it shows you all the way down to county level information. We're also able to see what the mitigation and policy response has been for that state 
And of course, we can change filters to only narrow down to look at a couple of counties within that state or compare multiple states with each other. One other thing I wanted to mention is that more recently, we've decided to publish another block into the marketplace focused on the mobility data that's been published by Google. This data talks about patterns in mobility across the United States. And with both of these blocks installed on your Looker instance, you can see this data side by side and get a clear view of how mobility patterns have been correlated with different infection spread across the country. Now, when you download this block into the market, into your Looker instance, you get those dashboards, but even better is you have the explore environment to actually go and slice and dice the data and ask brand new questions. As I mentioned before, any business user can hop in and ask these questions while Looker is simply compiling that SQL query and sending it back to BigQuery on your behalf. Now we noticed that this information can be confusing. And since it's such sensitive data, it's really important for us to make sure that our customers understand exactly what these numbers mean and how they were calculated. That's why here you can see some screenshots I've taken where you have all the different tool tips that show descriptions of how the metrics were calculated, descriptions of what kind of questions you can ask in this data exploration environment, and links to all the data sources so you can go directly to the source and understand things like how they've collected the data. And last, of course, you get that Looker modeling layer that's powering this entire experience. Like I mentioned, that modeling layer acts as a data dictionary where we basically have this dictionary of all of our metrics that are powering both the explore environment and they're powering those dashboards. But what's really interesting about marketplace blocks in Looker is that you can actually extend the block and you can change the actual base configuration. So modify that data dictionary so that it fits your needs. And better yet, you can extend it and join it back on with your own data. And this is the real power of this block. And this is kind of our impetus for releasing a block like this is we want you and all of our customers to join it back on your data so you can get increased insights into what's really happening and how it's affecting your business specifically. So I hope that after this presentation, you're gonna go ahead and check out the Looker Marketplace. We have a lot of documentation available on how you can use these blocks and how you can modify them for your own needs. Additionally, we wanted to make sure that you clearly understand how the modeling layer is working. So we had our team of sales engineers go in and write clear documentation, um, you know, robust comments to really make sure that you're understanding each calculation that's performed. Now what I wanna talk about is a couple of our customers who are actually using this block that we've built to help them make decisions for their business during this difficult time. The first I wanna talk about is HCA. And HCA is one of the nation's leading healthcare providers. At the start of COVID, they came to us with a goal of creating a national response portal. The goal of this national response portal was to give healthcare administrators and government officials a single place to monitor the spread of this disease across the country so that they can make better informed decisions on both hospital administration tasks like staffing and uh, utilization of resources, and also for our government officials to be making data informed decisions on policies. So HCA worked with one of our partners, SADA, to build out this portal that any of the nation's providers can opt into and also contribute data to. What's really powerful about what HCA did is they took the data that we had worked with in our block, all this publicly available data that's in BigQuery, but they went ahead and joined it on their own proprietary data from these hospitals. This data centered around things like ventilator and ICU bed utilization so that hospitals can log in at any moment, focus on one geography, and see real-time analytics about what's going on in that area and of course, make better plans for the future based on the information that they're seeing. 
Now, although COVID-19 was what inspired this national response portal to be created, uh, HCA hopes that this will live on because obviously this framework is going to be really important for other diseases and just general public health. The next customer I'm going to talk about is Diamond Resorts. I'm sure many of you have heard of Diamond Resorts. They're a timeshare company with vacation spots around the whole world. When the pandemic hit, I'm sure you all realized that uh, travel and leisure was one of the industries that was hit hardest from the beginning. People were probably nervous to travel, and of course there were restrictions being placed on where you could travel, where you were going to, and where you could come from. So Diamond Resorts had an influx of requests coming from their customers about rescheduling their vacations, canceling their vacations, and Diamond Resorts really needed a way to adapt to this influx of requests. So what they did was they used this uh, block as well and used Looker to analyze this COVID-19 data, analyze it alongside their own data around who's rescheduling, who's canceling, and try to predict when are people going to want to reschedule? Where will they be rescheduling their trips? And basically use all this information to plan appropriately so that they're, they're helping their customers get through this difficult time and ensure that they'll be able to reschedule these vacations when it's safe to do so and where and when they want to go. The last customer I'm gonna talk about today is Garten. And Garten delivers uh, healthy food and snacks to offices around the country. So of course you can imagine that when offices shut down in most of the major cities in the United States, Garten needed a way to adapt to this change. Now that things are beginning to reopen or we see um, you know, changes in our society, Garten needed a way to basically plan for this reopening and try to understand what offices would be reopening, what capacity would they be reopening at? Would they have half of their employees coming back to work? Would they only have a handful? And basically come up with programs that are gonna support these offices as we're going through this influx of changes. So Garten went ahead and they used the, the Looker block as well. And just like the other companies I've talked about, they were able to look at this data alongside their own data around, you know, what customers they have, how many employees these customers have, where they are in the United States, and basically come up with those programs to fulfill their customers' needs. So I just want to take time to say thank you all for, for you know, joining us here today and listening to how our customers are using all this technology and data to make these data-driven responses. I really encourage you to go understand more about BigQuery Public Datasets Program, also the Looker Marketplace. And you can find really useful information about this block that we've created in this link that I've posted here. One of our, um, you know, friends here at Looker have decided to create a blog post that goes into detail on why we decided to create this block, what data we used for our block, and also has a link to a publicly accessible dashboard and explore environment so that if you want to be able to analyze the data yourself, you can go to this website and create your own reports, drill into data, get a feel for what you would be experiencing with Looker. So thank you.